Hi, it's Kristen Tollefson, the Education Director at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and I'm here today to do some art in action with you at home. Uh, it was a beautiful spring day, and I was outside a lot, and it made me think about plants that I would like to see in my garden and ways to get those going inside the house so they have a little bit of a chance to get warm and settled and grow into little seedlings that I can then put in the garden or in pots later on. Um, did you know that you can make your own paper pots to put soil in and seeds in and you can plant those in the house and water them and keep them in a sunny spot and then you can take those paper pots and put them right in the garden and they'll be ready to go. So um, I think I've talked before about the paper that I like to save from catalogs and magazines. Uh, for this project in particular, I'm looking for paper that is biodegradable and that has ink on it that is not going to be toxic in the soil. So the catalog that I chose was one that was printed on recycled paper with um, sensitive ink. And um, I also chose it because it had some great pictures. This is really an origami pattern. And many of you know that origami is usually started with a square piece of paper. And you can see here that I have one that is not exactly square. It doesn't matter. You can make a square piece of paper from any piece of paper. And um, from a rectangle, it's quite easy. Your first step is going to be to take your page and find two edges that are um, straight. So I have a straight edge here and a straight edge here and fold them into a triangle where the edges, straight edges are matched. And you'll see that down here I have made it a careful, I've done it slow enough that I've gotten a nice point. Um, so everything's matched up. It's really worth it to take your time on this project. Uh, now you can see that I have a triangle and I've got a long strip here. That strip can be folded over right on the line of your triangle. And I'll show you folding it backwards so you can see. Just folded right along the strip, right along the edge. And I can take this, now that I've folded it back on itself, and whoop, just cut along the edge with my scissors. Then I've got a square piece of paper that is good for starting any origami project. But this one is a small cup that we're going to make. It's very simple. Um, the first step is this triangle. The second step, and I'm going to turn it around so, well, turn it around so you can see how I'm doing it. The second step is to take each corner and fold it so that you have a line that is straight and parallel with the bottom. Um, so your point touches the edge. This line will be parallel with this bottom line. And then you're going to do that the same on the other side, holding it up to the edge like this. And you'll see here you have two little flaps. One gets folded down on that side, right along the edge. Then you flip it over, and the other one gets folded down on the other side and you have a little cup. The cup opens like this. What I find is that it's great to have a little bit of a flat bottom for your for your pot and I see you can see this one's kind of wiggly. It it does even out and get more stable once you put the soil inside. Um, so what I do is I take a cup and I gently press down on the inside of my paper cup and push the paper on the bottom. Then I will push down gently on the cup and maybe turn it a little bit. And that will give you a little paper cup that has 
a base that's a little bit more flat for setting setting flat. Um, what I've done here is I've taken my paper cup or my little planting pot and I filled it with some planting soil or potting soil and then I'm going to take some seeds and here I have nasturtium seeds because they're pretty easy to grow and they're so colorful and they're also um, you can make you can put those in salads the flowers and the leaves and I'm going to put probably three seeds in here and just press them in with my finger these seeds in particular like to be in the dark so press them down with your fingers so that they're all covered up by soil and then you can take some water and water right into the pot so that the soil stays moist and that it has a great place for the plants to grow. Um, I thought what would be fun also, and you can see what happens is after a while they will sprout and you can take this whole pot, it's kind of damp on the bottom, you can take the whole pot and plant it right in the garden with soil around it and let everything grow up. These are probably ready to go in right now. Um, while I am thinking about it, I might want to make a little sign, a little uh, tag for my plants so that when it goes in the garden I don't forget what I planted where. And here I went into the wood pile and got a little strip of birch bark. You could easily find a leaf out in the yard. I think um, there are many laurel leaves. Um, lots of different kinds of leaves might work just to use a sharpie and write the name of the plant on it. And I used a hole punch on both ends. And this is a, um, a used chopstick. That can go in your pot uh, and you can save it like that so you know what's going in or you can put it in the garden directly like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's Art in Action. I hope it inspires you to get creative and artful when you go in the garden and to think about things that are might take some time to show the benefit but in the long term will be something that you enjoy and that you were creative about and also um, did something to help the environment. So until next time, see you later.